everybody, so welcome back to another studio vlog. I hope you've all had a nice week, although this will probably be going up on like a Monday or something. But today is Friday and we have got a lot of prep to do because tomorrow I have a market stall. So we have got a lot of prep for that to get all the stock in the car. Um, I've got a lot of painting things to do, which we will do in this vlog too. But I hope you have had a lovely week or you're having a good start to the week for whenever this goes up. I had a bit of a rough uh, start to the week. Nothing in particular actually happened, but just Monday and Tuesday was just a no-go for me. Um, I was feeling a bit down and unmotivated on Monday. And then Tuesday, I got halfway through the day and <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just kind of gave up laid in bed for a while, had a bath, played some Animal Crossing and watched TV and just felt a bit sorry for myself. But we are back on track today. We have um, obviously the market store prep as I said, packed some orders. I'm going to post on my Instagram today about my Patreon. I'm planning on launching that on the 6th and I know the past two vlogs I've done I've been talking about it and planning it and doing all the tiers and stuff. But now it is done, it's all up on Patreon, ready to go. I've made some content for it. Um, I'm going to do a Patreon podcast. So I need to try and find a little kit for that, like a microphone and stuff. But yeah, that should be coming on the 6th, which I'm very nervous about, but you know, what can go wrong? Hopefully people just sign up over time as they find me and it's just a fun way to connect and yeah, it'll be good. So that's the plan. We've got to pack some orders now. I need to clean my desk first because it's really messy. Um, and then we'll pack some orders. are all packed up and Dan has just popped out and um, so I've given them to him so he can take them to the post office. It's really warm today so I was really struggling <laughs> to get through that but I just popped on some Stranger Things because that's come out today but I actually might have to change. I've put this dress on but where it's long sleeve I am honestly sweating and the window in here doesn't open fully so we've got the blinds when we pull the blinds back the window still doesn't open because of like the bar of the blinds so it gets really freaking hot doesn't help i always seem to have this door closed because either the washing machine is always on or the dishwasher's on and it's always really loud so it's just basically a sauna in here so i am going to go in the living room in a second but i'm about to post on my instagram about my patreon in the past two vlogs i know that i've spoken about patreon and prepping it and wanting to get it all together and organized that is now all done. I've organised the tiers, it's all on Patreon ready to go and I've even started getting the content ready to give to any subscribers that I do get, if any. <laughs> I don't know but either way um, I'm gonna have it up there and people can hopefully eventually just join scattered throughout the months anyway. I think it'll be a gradual thing which is fine but it's just going to keep me busy too. So anyone that would love to join that it is uh, launching on the 6th June and if you don't know what Patreon is it's basically just a platform online for people to subscribe to monthly content um, from their favourite creators or artists pretty much so I've got three tiers one's £2, one's £4 and one is £8 
um, and each tier is going to include obviously more and more as it goes up. So if you want to know more about that, I'm just about to post it to my Instagram and I'm going to try and make a highlight as well so that people can always go and have a look at it. So by the time this is up, I would have posted it. So please go and check that out. Um, and yeah, if you would like to join my Patreon, that would be amazing. Sorry, I just had to stop the camera because I realised I record on my phone and I need to post an Instagram about the Patreon. But skip ahead a little bit, that's now done. So what I'm going to do now is I want to paint some crates that are for the market stall tomorrow. So I'm going to go and do that now. I've already painted two the other day, which I forgot to film. Um, but I'll show you what they look like and I have one more that I need to paint purple. And to be honest, it's kind of on brand with what I'm wearing. Um, so I want to do that and then I also want to create the signs like I said as well. Um, I've got some leftover cardboard boxes and what I'm going to do is just make some shapes, cut them out, paint them and then put the prices on. And then I'm going to lay out the stool on my dining room table so I can just get a final look of what I want it to look like take a photo and then tomorrow I know exactly what I'm doing. So I will show you what I've done already with the crates. Okay, I am so sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the background, it's very loud and I completely forgot that I was gonna be vlogging today so stupidly put it on. But here are the crates. They were just plain wood and I got them from Ikea. I think they were about eight pounds each. And I've got three of them, so there is one more that I will need to paint, which I will do in a second. But I've just painted them blue, pink, and then I've got a purple too. And I think they look really sweet. So what I'm going to do is paint the third one, and then I'm going to set it all out on this table and, you know, see what it all looks like. And then I will get all my stock together to take to the market stall and make the signs too. But yeah, I thought they looked really sweet and, you know, on a brand and stuff. So I'm hoping it will just make my stall look a little bit brighter. I'm so confused. I just cut these out, painted them, wrote on them as you just saw. I had three, I had four. Um, the third one, the flower one I mean, um, I've redone because I didn't like, I mucked it up. But I had the pink heart one. Tell me where that is, because I have no clue. It's actually vanished, I don't understand. I put them down on my desk, I had to put them on top of the printer quickly and move some stuff and then I picked them back up and I had three. I've thrown the flower one in the bin. Where is the heart? I do not understand. I've pulled the printer out. I've moved everything. I've literally 
emptied my bottom two shelves, pulled everything out, I've looked under the shelves, I've looked through the boxes, I've went through the bin. I don't understand. I don't, how can something just vanish? It's gone. I've recut um, and painted a heart and I've done a few other shapes which I didn't film, but you'll see them in a second because I realised I needed a few more. So they're just drying, then I'll write on those. But where the hell? I honestly, I have no idea where that pink heart one has gone. But anyway, this is what they look like. My shoddy handwriting, unfortunately, does ruin it. I even tried doing it in pencil and then going over it in Sharpie to no avail. My handwriting is still bad, but ignoring that, I do like them. I kind of want to paint the back, but right now I think I'm going to leave it because I've got some other stuff to do and you won't see the backs anyway. Um, and then if I get time, I'll paint the backs another time. I just don't understand where that pink heart one's gone. I really don't. If I find it, I will let you know. But I don't think she's coming back. Anyway, um, I was going to set up the display now on my dining table and we can have a look at what it looks like. I just can't go over that. We'll go put the display out. I don't know. Okay, so that's all set up and I am actually really happy with it. Um, I did have to make a couple more signs and I think I will have to make one more. I underestimated the amount of products that I was selling. But other than that, the only concern is that the table that I'm bringing to the market store, I've got like a fold out one, I think that is a lot thinner than, the, than my dining table. So actually I'm gonna have less space. So everything will be moved forward but hopefully fingers crossed it should still work because i think the table is wider than my dining table but thinner so everything will just be outwards a bit more rather than squished together um but i will show you again what it looks like and kind of talk you through it so these are the signs i've done um i've tried to make them all different shapes um i'm not happy with my handwriting as i said but you know can't change the past and all that so we're just gonna have to go with it but I'm liking it. I'm going to have a sign in here saying uh, like my brand name and my Instagram and stuff. I just need to design that and get it printed off. I do have another sign to go on this. It's just drying because I had to quickly paint it. I also have this garland thing that I am going to hang on the front. Um, but I didn't bother putting it out because I am just going to pack this all away in a minute. But this is from Ikea and was only £2 and I think it fits my branding. <laughs> really well so that's going to go on the front and then I also I'm thinking I still don't know how but I kind of want to hang my tote bags from here so that people can actually uh, see them but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that I do have some push pins um, I'm obviously not going to push into the bag handle but maybe hang them on the push pin somehow yeah I'm gonna do that and then I also have I have a few of these magnet sets too I did pack one up as a order for a customer earlier, I think I filmed it, but I'm actually short on a few of the always snack time alarm clock things. And I was like, oh, I haven't put the set of three on my website yet. And I've only actually got three left. So what I'm gonna do is maybe bring these along. Um, yeah, bring these along to the market store and see if they go there. And then any I have left, if any, I will put them on my website. But I just thought I'd do them as a pack of three because um, it seems a waste to just let these three go when they haven't got the alarm clock in them. So I now literally just need to put this all away. Um, I'm going to leave it out for a little bit longer. But then I also need to 
get all my stock that I'm going to bring along and get it together so that I can put it in the car later so I don't have to do it tonight. So that is this bit done. I'm really happy with that. What I'm going to try and do is try and film some of the market stall and I will add it in some of the next few clips or whatever so you can see what the market stall actually looks like and how it goes. So I'm going to try and remember to film that and I will pop it in this vlog a little bit later on. The frog hiding is back and it's my turn again. We've had a few rounds since um, my first vlog where I spoke about it. It's back to my turn and I know where I'm going to put him. Okay, I've put him up here. This might seem maybe too obvious, I don't know, but I put him on a light uh, shade before in the living room and it took him days to find it, so. And if you come this side, yeah, you can't see him. That's his new spot. 